For years, literally years, we've all been asking the same questions. Why is the iPhone so much faster? Or why does Snapdragon feel smoother than Exynos? Well, it looks like Samsung finally got tired of hearing those complaints. A massive report out of Korea says Samsung is basically hitting the reset button. They formed a brand new custom SoC development team. And if you're not a tech nerd, you might wonder, so what? Don't they already make chips? Yes, they do. But here's the huge difference. This is the moment Samsung decided they're done relying on other people's homework. They want to build the whole thing from scratch, the same way Apple does with the iPhone. And if they pull this off, the smartphone war will completely change. Let me explain why this matters. Right now, Samsung buys the CPU core blueprints from ARM, tweaks them a bit, and uses them in their Exynos chips. MediaTek does the same thing. But Apple and Qualcomm? They don't copy the default designs. They create their own custom CPU cores. They design the entire engine themselves. That's why Apple's chips are so powerful. They're tailor-made. Samson actually tried custom cores years ago, the Mongoose project, but it didn't go well. Those chips ran hot, drained battery, and Samsung eventually shut the whole thing down. They went back to ARM's safer, standard designs. But playing it safe isn't working anymore. Apple is too far ahead, Qualcomm is dominating, and Samsung has been stuck catching up. Now, they're ready to change the game. This new Korean report says Samsung has created a dedicated development team under their device solutions division. They even put Vice President Bong Dae-il in charge, an engineer who specializes in custom semiconductor development. He's not a marketing guy, he's a real chip expert. Samsung's goal with this new team is full independence. They want to design everything. The CPU architecture, the AI engine, the graphics unit, the entire brain of the smartphone. They want a system where the hardware and software match perfectly, the way Apple does with the iPhone. Now, don't expect the Galaxy S26 to magically have this new chip. The Exynos 2600 is probably already finished using the same old strategy. But the chip after that? That might be Samsung's first fully custom processor in years. And here's Samsung's secret weapon. They own the factory. Apple designs its chips, but TSMC builds them. Qualcomm designs Snapdragon chips, and TSMC builds those too. Samsung is the only giant that can design a chip and then walk it down the hall to their own foundry. They also make their own displays, their own memory, and their own camera sensors. If they succeed in building a powerful custom processor, they'll have full control of the entire phone, from the silicon to the screen. That gives them two huge advantages lower cost because they're not paying a middleman like TSMC, and better optimization because the designers and manufacturers work inside the same company. There are even reports that Samsung is pushing forward with a 2 nanometer manufacturing process, and they already produce chips for Tesla, so it's not like they lack experience. But let's be honest, this is risky. Samsung's foundry hasn't always had the best track record. We've seen heat issues, efficiency issues, and of course, the Exynos memes. For Samsung's new plan to succeed, two things have to happen at the same time. The new development team must design a chip that competes with or beats Apple, and Samsung's factory must build it perfectly. If they pull it off, they win big. They could even start selling these new chips to other companies. But if they fail, they fall even further behind and we'll be stuck with more Snapdragon versus Exynos arguments for years. The truth is, Samsung knows that good enough isn't good enough anymore. They're done playing it safe. They're rebuilding their chip strategy from the ground up. They want full control of their technology, no more depending on ARM's default designs. They want to own the brain of their phones. Will they succeed? Nobody knows. But if Samsung really brings back a powerful custom chip, the competition will explode. And we, the users, will get faster, better phones. What do you think? After everything that happened with Exynos, do you trust Samsung to build a custom chip again? Or should they just stick to Snapdragon?